I'm the CEO and founder of Pindrop Security, and I'm going to be talking about phone printing, or the ability to identify a phone device just from its call audio. Uh, we started phone printing as part of my PhD research at Georgia Tech, where we were trying to answer a very simple question. When you get a phone call, especially at 3 AM in the night, where is that call coming from? The only visual cue you have is the phone number that flashes on your screen. And with the advent of voice over IP systems, that number can be easily spoofed. In fact, I have half a dozen apps on my cell phone that allow me to spoof any of your phone numbers. Now, with that said, banks and financial institutions are really struggling because the weakest link for them is the phone channel. So I keep joking that there are three ways to rob a bank. One is to walk in with guns and walk out with bags of money. And there's you know, physical security mechanisms that stop you from doing that. You can hack into the online systems uh, and try to steal the money. And there are online systems that protect you from doing that. And finally, you can use the phone. And the only thing that's protecting you from these uh, people is call center agents who are asking a whole bunch of questions like, what's your mother's maiden name? What's your social security number? Because they can't really trust the caller ID. So with this phone printing technology, I mean, what we've realized is that the phone channel has quickly become the weakest channel for all these enterprises. And towards this phone printing, what we do is we extract about 147 different features from the audio of a call, which includes characteristics like the noise, device, loss, and spectral features that are introduced by the device that allows us to identify the device uniquely just from its call audio. In fact, we can even identify what type of device made that call. Was it a cell phone? Was it a landline? Was it a voice over IP device? We can also identify where in the world that call is coming from. So is it coming from the west coast of the US? Or is it coming from Eastern Europe? Or is it actually coming from Western Africa? So that allows us to say when a call coming into your phone system is actually coming from a landline in Atlanta, or it's actually coming from a Skype phone in Nigeria. So this, uh, with this technology, what we've been able to do is keep track of these fraudsters as soon as we've identified them. And what this shows you is essentially fraudsters all over the US and interesting trends that they're following. So they're picking numbers from really remote counties, like Tillamook County here, which isn't known for its people, but it's known for its trees and its cheese. So there are not many people, and they're actually getting their numbers from there because there's not very many people. In fact, the phone printing can go even further. Right now, what you're seeing is one number and how it's related to all these other numbers just from its phone print. So that allows us to say that this is one fraud gang that's using each of these numbers to target each of their customers. And we're able to go behind that and identify that one source for that fraud. Uh, I'm Vijay Balasubramanian, and I'm looking to make the phone trustworthy once again. Thank you. Thank you.